just started but i feel like i've been awake for like 12 hours but good morning guys good morning welcome back to my channel welcome to a brand new video if you're new here my name is zizi we do lifestyle and vlogging content on this channel with little sprinkles of beauty little sprinkles of girl chat sana i feel like my love for vlogging is it's being revived and today it's going to be revived even further but i'll tell you guys why but if you are not subscribed to the channel and you keep coming back to watch the content please consider subscribing i promise you guys it doesn't cost you anything to subscribe but it does mean a lot to me so i would be very grateful and please give this video a like if you enjoy it of course um but yeah welcome to a new vlog guys today is friday it is the end of a work week praise god but this work day is only just starting i went to the gym i came back um i started my dishwasher like i had to unload last night's dishes and then reload the dishes that were left over um just to give my helper a head start and she came in this morning i also gave a head start on the laundry um, and then I took a shower, did my, did my skincare routine and I feel good. I made a little bit of an effort today to actually get dressed up for my work day, even though I'm working from home. And, um, for two reasons. One, I just feel like I'm so tired of being like, of dressing like a bum, you know? Um, so I dressed up today a little, I'm just wearing jeans and a blouse. And later today I'm actually going to go and fetch my camera. Sarah, God is good. God is good. God is good. It has been like five weeks that Canon has had my camera, but today I'm fetching my camera, guys. I'm so happy. And to be honest, I think that's why I'm feeling excited about vlogging is the fact that I have my camera back. Um, 
but yeah let me let me dive into my work day guys i have quite a bit of work to do and i want to end my work day today at three o'clock i end my work day at three so let me just get started send out things i need to send out request stuff and just get through my my to do <laughs> for the day but yeah i hope you enjoy the vlog guys like i said please consider subscribing and please do like the video if you enjoy it that you can but son of my camera is back my camera is back guys and i could cry for 40 days and 40 nights this quality is just so much better it is so much better i could quite literally cry i could literally cry but my camera is back guys i went to canon yesterday in centurion i didn't vlog because Sana, i was fighting for my life I was fighting for my life. I left here at about 20 past 3 and my GPS said it was going to take me 55 minutes to get there. So I was supposed to get there at 20 past 4. And as I was leaving, I realized my phone battery, mind you, and yeah, not clear. Because, you know, I only roam around here, <laughs> around my area. Like my church is here, work is here, gym is here, like everything is here. So I never drive like out of this area unless i'm going to see my in-laws and which like i'm, I'm always with my husband when i go see my in-laws nonetheless okay, i realized my battery was about to die i think it was on like 10 percent or 9 percent something like that and then as i'm driving i was like my husband baby please borrow me your phone because i'm scared that this battery might die before i get to centurion fine one week lo and behold sana like while i'm on the highway the highway my battery says two percent so i tried to put the gps on on my husband's phone because i knew my battery was going to die and i did it so i put the i tried to put the gps and his gps is not working and eventually i realized Guba, he doesn't have data so i go on my banking app to buy him data yeah um i buy data for his number and then I put on the GPS and surely just after I bought the data from my from my banking app my battery died and guys I was on the N1 I was on the N1 towards Pretoria fortunately there was like really bad traffic like bumper to bumper traffic hence I was able to be out here buying airtime and buying data and then putting in a GPS etc etc so fine gay Yananzika, Daitangi data, and then I had to put the GPS on my husband's phone, then it eventually worked. Dafika. And guys, can I tell you, it said it was going to take me 55 minutes. It took me an hour and five minutes. I got there at 25 past four, by half past four. 
Bye bye. I'm half half past four. And obviously it's a Friday, so I'm gonna buy a chai so early on a Friday. Dinge samingwe, dinge samingwe, dinge samingwe, guys. And I know that on Monday I was not gonna be able to go because I have to be in the office next week. Um, because there's a couple of projects that I need to wrap up before I go and leave. Because I'm gonna go and leave for two weeks. And this coming week is my last week before I go and leave for my vacation, right? <laughs> So I had to go and they don't open on the weekend. So I had to go because I wanted this camera for when I go on my vacation. So fine, and I think unfortunately the manager was still there, Sana, and I had phoned them the day before to let them know that I'm coming on Friday to come and pick up my camera. And then um the manager was there, one nigga sana a camera I'm like, praise God. And then it was time for me to drive back home. Did my husband's battery not die? My husband, my husband's battery died, guys. Like, there But luckily, Ucanon is on an office park that's on. I think it's called John Foster Drive. And luckily, U John Foster exits onto the N1, N14, right towards Johannesburg. Right, this is like Centurion Pretoria, but it exits onto the N1 towards Johannesburg. So luckily, I was able to quickly get onto John Foster before the battery died, and I knew that on John Foster I could exit onto the N1. So fine, gay. Yeah, my I while I was on John Foster, guys, and I exited onto the N1. And then once I'm on the N1, I know how to find my way. I don't know like how many exits until I get to my exit, but. I know that I must just keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going and keep going, and keep going on the N1 up until I get to my exit. And luckily, like when I was coming back, the drive was only like 30 minutes or 35 minutes because I was going against the traffic. <sighs> so I was just too stressed out. I was too stressed out to try and vlog. But nonetheless, I got my camera, guys. I got my camera. Today's Saturday. That's an agenda. Today's Saturday. Um, and on the agenda today, I'm gonna go off to gym now. I'm gonna come back, shower, do my skincare routine. Um, I have a couple of errands that I was supposed to run yesterday, but after the stress of going to fetch my camera, Sana, I was just too emotionally exhausted when I came back. So I literally just came back and I watched vlogs and I laid in bed for the rest of the evening, cuddled with my husband. So I need to do those errands today, basically. So I need to go buy luggage, like a suitcase for our vacation. We need like a, a carry-on luggage for valuables, like handbags and perfumes and whatnot, things that are expensive. Because one thing about fly safe, but I couldn't but I won't join them there. So any valuable items, always try to put them in your hand luggage. So I need to go buy a hand luggage suitcase. I need to pass by an espresso and buy pods. I need to pick up toiletries. Um, I went to Clicks earlier in the week, but I couldn't find anything there that I wanted. So I need to go to Discam and get toiletries. Um, I need to go to Postnet. Una, I'm going to post my batteries for this camera. My spare batteries, I had borrowed them to her. She posted them. So I need to go get that. I need to go to the post office <laughs> to get a hair product that I bought from Cult Beauty. And then I need to make a Woolies order and a Checkers order so that we have food for the duration of this week before we leave. Um, and somewhere in there, I need to find time to make food. Yeah. I need to find time to make food. Um, I don't know if I'm going to get everything done, but let's try. Let's try. Thank God for making me
my friend, oh, Apple will pay for their sins. I don't care who says what. Oh, Apple, Sana, they will pay for their sins. Gag. What is this for? Sana, oh, Apple, oh, Spambe, Apple, Spambe, the corn. They are holding us where we are small. Hi, guys. Hi, guys. Can I tell you? Yandiba, Mer. Can I tell you guys, so I'm on the phone with the Can I tell you, I got completely distracted. And so now this belt, I'm struggling to breathe. I got completely distracted. I went to gym this morning, so at least that um, item is done. I came home, I made myself breakfast. That's done. I took a shower and did my morning skincare routine. And so now I spent like three hours scrolling social media. And now it's like after four, it's half past four in fact. It's half past four and I have not done the errands that I needed to do today. <sighs> Let's see. So I needed to, okay, so gym done, shower and skincare done, breakfast done. Okay, I need to buy luggage, coffee pods, I need to buy toiletries, post net, post office. I doubt the post office is still open, let me just be honest. Let me check if the post office is still open. Post office... The post office is closed, son. Yeah, okay, I was not going to make it anyways. If I let one. Okay, that's fine. Let me just go to Postnet. Let me just go to Postnet. Let me remove the post office off my to-do list. Let's go to Postnet. Um, yeah, I need to go pick up the batteries for this camera at Postnet. And then from Postnet, I will go to the mall. So I can go to... Um, buy a suitcase and toiletries yeah let's go to post notes hi dear yandiva you muted yourself when's i need to leave a video My friend, my friend, let me tell you, being a vlogger is not for the weak in spirit. Yes, then editing, my friend, you will pass away. Get editing, let me tell you. You will die. You will pass away. Get editing your vlog, chale. I understand why, like certain influencers, never even get started with vlogging. No, I get it, my friend. Sana, remember Unanzika. Remember, remember, ooh, what's her name? It was it Sibs. Was it Sibs? It's from K. Yeah, who Sibs? I think they once asked her, I think they once asked her Sibs, but will she ever start a YouTube channel? And she was like, with the amount of work I've seen K do, never. <laughs> she was like, with the amount of work K Yams does, I started to edit a vlog, she was like, never. Never, me, never. My friend, yes, seconds of how I'm looking. I don't care who says what. We are seconds. Protecting my peace for so long. A little too good now, I'm so low. Watching reruns of the same shows. Almost everybody on my no show. Even with green lights, I don't go. Never been sure, no, I don't know. How does everybody has to let go of the ego?
like a 20 grand voucher. <laughs> fighting for my life because I've actually been fighting for my life but how's it guys today is when no I'm lying here's my phone today's Tuesday it's 6 p.m. the work day has ended <laughs> guys <laughs> I literally look like I've been fighting for my life because I have been fighting for my life I switched on this camera because I have a package that I want to share with you guys. This package arrived today um, at the office. When my work day ended, I was working from home today, but when my work day ended, I decided to go to the office to go and fetch this box right here. If you guys are a watcher of Namcha's vlogs, you'll know that like a vlog or two ago, she unboxed a package that contained a coach handbag. And that package was coming from my US. Well, I also made a purchase from my US um, and from Coach. Well, from Coach, and then I shipped it through my US. But that's not all that's in here. I also have leggings from Gymshark. I have tracksuits from Fashion Nova and a pair of jeans. And I also have bodysuits from Amazon and a vlogging tripod. So, one name behind this box is so big. Let's open this package. Together and so you can so you can so you can let me phone on to actually I wanted to be a part of this I wanted to be a part of this madness guys. I'm so nervous because This thing cost me a lot of money Cost me a lot of money and I just pray to God that and this was solar Don't mind how ashy my hair looks as well. I've literally had the sew in maybe for like five weeks now and I'm gonna take it out. I'm setting this thing up so I can phone on so that I can like unbox this thing together with you guys and her and if you want to get into it up big guy up nam shama bombo right this i hope pretty gosh answers my call okay Let's open the so long. I think I need scissors. Yo, I'm going to have to go downstairs, Lord. I can't. I can't, Father. I'm not going to make it. Um, it uh. Oh my goodness, God, I'm so nervous. I bought a coach handbag from the coach outlet store. I was influenced, both Namsa and I actually were influenced by oh, beautifully Cindy. She's an American YouTuber. I love that girl's content. If there's a girl that I aspire to make content like, it's beautifully Cindy. I'll link her channel like somewhere here in the cards. So 
I'm all here. I'll link it. Oh, guys. I'm sending me. I'm sending me. Okay. Okay. Hi. This is the bag. This is the bag, guys. In my afternoon, I'm like, oh, no, no. Go! Answer your phone! Okay, I'm like f calling, calling her instead of white calling her. This is the answering service for. Amen. Yo, I guess, Sana. Yeah. I guess. I guess. I'm gonna have to do it without her. I'm glad you guys are here. Let's do this together, guys. It looks like it's stuffed. It looks like it's stuffed. Oof. This bag I also saw from O Beautiful Cindy. She is the one who influenced me to buy this bag. Ooh. It's actually cute. It's a little smaller than I anticipated. Yo guys, this bag. It's stunning. This shit is just calling me. Did you just wake up? Are you sleeping? This flu medication is dribbling me. Oh, he didn't me. My it's friend. Stupid. And I feel so drowsy. Ask Oh my gosh, it's stunning. My yeah. friend. This bag. It's is stunning. so cute. It's absolutely perfect. And my friend, I feel like. The camera doesn't even do justice. Dana, it's absolutely perfection. I love the interior as well. Sana. Yeah, boy, it's Dana. got like a red interior. Mm. Sana, what perfect. a good quality bag. I am so happy, Sana, because it means... There's a chance. My friend, this bag is beautiful. It is. Sana. This bag is beautiful. Some of the black with the gold hardware and the red interior. Oh, that bag is stunning. So if it was a little bit bigger to fit my laptop, I'd get it. That's what I actually thought. I thought I was, I was like, okay, I, I knew that it wouldn't fit a laptop. Yeah. I knew. But it does come in a bigger size that does fit a laptop. Really? Yeah, this one is the Molly Tote 25. The other one is just the Molly Tote. Oh. So this is the mini. This one is the mini, but it does come in a bigger one. To fit it. And my friend, I'm going to buy it. Mm. And it even comes in different colors. It comes in black and cream and pink, like a whole range of colors. I think it even comes in the canvas. You have a coach. And you can wear it crossbody. Anna, it's so perfect. You can wear crossbody and it's adjustable. Mm. Like the crossbody is adjustable. You can make it longer, shorter. My friend, I'm so happy with this purchase. My friend, me too, Sana. Congratulations to you. But you know what? I was you were doing. As I was unboxing this, I was like, shame they did my friend dirty. Because my friend, mine came fully stuffed. Anna, they did me dirty. They did you dirty, Power Coach Susanna. And my friend, I paid less than three grand for this bag. I think I paid 2.7. And this bag at the coach store is 10,500. Sam. It's 10,500, this bag at the coach store. But obviously, it's got the new coach logo, not this old one. My friend, I bought this for work and I feel like it's perfect. It's absolutely perfect and so cute. Even the right? size is so This size is sana. My friend, this bag is better than I thought it would be. Jig. I guess maybe after your experience, I was so anxious. I feel like that interior makes it even better. My friend. Okay, the girl has to go. The girl has to go. But my poor bag in the hall. Next up, guys, I bought these bodysuits off of Amazon. They are dupes for the Skims bodysuits. And the reviews on these things are so good. And let me just tell you, TikTok made me do it. Tick oh, this material is nice. Sun. 
sana. Oh, this is not gonna fit me. Yeah, sana, it's so thick. Okay, maybe it might. Eh, eh, I don't know if that's gonna fit me. And the gag is that this is a 3X, and I bought one 3X, one 2X because I wanted like a super fitted fit. And so now this 3X doesn't look like it's gonna fit me. This is the first one. I bought it in black. And I'm gonna try it on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. And then I also got it in white as well. I'll link them in the description box. They're from this brand called Pumi. Yeah, this is this looks small. I don't think this is gonna fit me. I don't think this is gonna fit me. It's a bodysuit, by the way. I think this is the front, and then it's like a thong. It's like a thong bodysuit. This is the second one. Just try it, try it. I'm gonna worry. I'm gonna try them on. Okay, these. Ooh, these also look small. Yo, uh, this is not gonna fit. Wellele, guys, this thigh is so tiny. Yeah, this is this is not gonna fit me. I can already see. See how tiny these are. Yo, Sana and Adana. These are from Gymshark. If you can see that. Sana go 2XL on Jalo. This is not going to fit. I, I, I can guarantee this. I can already tell. Anyways, let's move on. I bought these sets from Fashion Nova. These are like tracksuit sets. I'll put a picture here of what they're supposed to look like on the model. I'm gonna try them on as well. oh these are like oh this is not what I thought it would be oh they're very stretchy see that Sana they're so stretchy but they're like a ripped material uh, this is not what I thought it would be you see that I don't know if you guys can see that wow they're like a ribbed material I got one set in gray. This is the pants. And then they come with like a polo neck type of situation. Yeah, they come with this polo neck. They're quite nice though. The, the quality is decent. The quality is decent. Can I tell you, for two sets, I paid 1100 They had this like buy one set, get another set free. So I bought one and then I got another one like for free. I'm going to try it on now. Don't worry. I didn't expect them to be ribbed. I really didn't expect them to be ribbed. And even in the in the reviews, they didn't say that's gonna be ribbed. Here's the second one. They're so stretchy. Yeah, this is definitely gonna fit me. This is gonna fit me for sure. I can tell. But yeah, this is the second one. And here's the top for it. But last item that i got was these jeans also from fashion nova unamla has these jeans actually she's the one who influenced me to buy them Ooh, i'm not so yeah these are not gonna fit hmm. are they i don't know they don't look like they are but i'm gonna try these are the jeans and some of the quality is pretty good. The quality is pretty good. Okay, let's try on. Let's try on. So, the bodysuit, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10. 10 out of 10, baby. 10 out of 10. Excuse me? Hi, Sana. I say wow. Personally, I say wow. Guys, this bodysuit, this bodysuit, I need it in every color. Every color, this bodysuit. So, I didn't think it was going to fit me, but it has a lot of stretch. This is a 3X. And to be honest, I think this is my perfect size. Because even around, like, you know when you have to clip it down? I'm not going to lie. It, I, I literally was fighting for my life putting it on. I'm putting a shoulder. But once you get the hang of it, 
yeah clip i'm dancing and it's very comfortable and i like that like it's not a full bachaza you know it's like a is it g g string yeah but these um tracksuits these joggers what a disappointment what a big disappointment guys these tracksuits they're such bad quality like they are such 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 bad quality i'm actually shocked i was hoping to wear them at the airport these tracksuits the jersey is a little bit better but the tracksuit pants are sana not... wow what a disappointment i'm not even gonna lie to you what a big disappointment yeah. this is the top here corner so they're great for wearing in the house but i don't think this is outside clothes mm -mm. Mm -mm. i don't like this this is what the full tracksuit looks like i hope you guys can see me man this is what the full tracksuit looks like the jersey is much thicker than the pants which is so ironic because you would expect that the pants would be thicker maybe if i wear some tights underneath then i'll feel better about wearing them to the airport but literally i bought this outfit guys because i wanted this to be my airport fit for our vacation i was going for this type of vibe and then then this out he coached him like this is the look i was trying to achieve with a black sneaker or a white sneaker this is the look i was trying to achieve when i look in the mirror it doesn't look too bad the mirror doesn't look too bad but at the back side of my cellulite is out to clear so what i'll do is i'll try and wear some shapewear underneath just to conceal just to conceal um my cellulite but i think this is a really nice look this is this is the airport fit that i was like you know trying to achieve this is it right here <laughs> so this white bodysuit is a 2xl and it doesn't fit very well as you can see it doesn't fit very well um i should have gotten a 3xl i wasn't sure what size to get um so i got the black one in a 3x and this one in a 2x yeah and pizza sana on my arms okay, okay. it's beating me on my answer, guys this thing is so thick you can see the shape of my bra but you can't see the actual color wow and then these are the gray sweatpants red suit legging whatever it's called i'm not gonna lie i hate this thing i hate it and the thing is when you're a plus size girl like you need things to be good quality you need things to be good quality, son. Otherwise, really, really. But this is how it fits. It fits exactly like the black one. But it shows even more of your, like, imperfections. Hold on. An email. They fit just like the black ones, but they show, like, more of your imperfections. These gray ones. But, yeah, these are home clothes, guys. This you can definitely wear out, obviously. The bodysuit. These bodysuits are so good. Like, I'm actually shocked. I'm actually shocked how good these bodysuits are. Shocked. But some of these track suits. No. It's a no from me. And again, this is the airport fit that I was hoping to achieve. But Sana I achieve These jeans don't fit. I needed like yeah, tis a I feel like I needed like one size bigger. Flip. Sana, they are so tight. Oh my goodness. These are the jeans. They are tight. I literally won't be able to breathe in these. I will not be able to breathe. Closing these jeans literally took everything else within me. I need to lose like 5 to 10 kgs to fit in these properly. Yes, they zipped and whatnot, but they don't fit me. Oh, guys, I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe in these jeans. But you know what? I like them enough to keep them. And I'm just going to wait until I lose like 5 to 10 kilos. Then I'll be able to wear them. 
So the last item, guys, is these leggings from Gymshark. I was convinced, convinced that these are not going to fit. But Sana, they fit. Yeah, let me go and warm up my husband and I's dinner so that we can eat. Um, we will continue this vlog, guys, tomorrow. Yeah, but all in all, like, I'm impressed with my bag. I'm impressed with these bodysuits and I will be buying these bodysuits in every color, in every cut. Um, I'm very disappointed on both of the tracksuits, both of them, the gray one and the black one, terrible quality, do not recommend. Um, I'm at, mm, about the jeans. The jeans are good quality and they look nice, but they're too small. That's the only issue that I should have, I should have bought one size bigger. The leggings are a good fit. So happy about the leggings. Yeah. And I don't deep I am Nasana feeling today is Thursday. Two days before we leave for our vacasi. Is that vacationing Afghans? I think so. But Sana, my battery died. I thought I was gonna show you guys my entire wash day routine. I took my soul in last night. My husband took my soul in for me, out for me. And then I cut my hair. But um, I'm need to do my hair today. I'm braiding my hair, so that's why I took my sewing out. I wanted to show you guys my wash day, but um, like the whole process that I follow after I've taken out a protective style, detangling, treatment, etc. etc. But did my battery not die immediately when I started? My battery literally died. So now I'm dead. I've been charging it for the past like two hours because that's how long it took me to wash this hair. And now this a blow dryer sana before this lady arrives. She's actually probably gonna arrive anytime in the next few minutes. So I just wanna quickly is that is that heat protected and finished? I'm gonna trace maybe when it's finished. Sana. Okay, that is this one. These are the products I'm using. Mizani Miracle Milk as well as Sebastian Trilliant. So let's unwrap this. And start the blow drying process, son. Yeah, these are one of the joys of Uxelanzela and Lini is that you can get your hair done in the process, you know. You can get your hair done in the process. Yeah, I'm sure my hair is so tangled. So tangled. I, luckily, I properly detangled it. You can't well. go back home. You love it when I get so high and drop that thing so low. Make you sit right here. Now you can go back home, you love it when I get so high And drop that thing so low, make you sit right here Now you can go back home, you love it when I get so high And drop that thing so low, make you sit right here Now you can go back home, I I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fake fake You bend it down and you poke it up and you elevate it I'm drank up and I'm banked up and I'm fake fake Good morning guys, good morning. Good morning. Now this desk is so messy. Guys, can I tell you? Tomorrow is my husband's birthday. And I don't have a play. Oh my new tech is here. Hi Christina. Hello hello. Yeah, Bo. Good, thanks. How are you? Okay. Okay, no problem. Okay, cool. Shut up. No, she was just going to let me know she's running late. Okay, so it's my husband's birthday tomorrow, and tomorrow we're also leaving for our trip. Our flight, I think, is at like 11 a.m. or 10 a.m., somewhere there. So, 
I was stressed. I was stressed. Today is Friday. I need to. My helper is here. Thank God. So she's gonna clean my house. She's gonna like do all of our laundry and iron so that um, our clothes are ready for our trip tomorrow. And then in the evening or tomorrow morning, I can just pack. So at least that's done. But I need to finish some work. I need to finish some work, Asana. Because one thing about me, I am not taking my laptop with me. I'm not I'm not doing it. Rather than the seventh the whole day and the whole night tonight, go to the long seven so that tomorrow I don't have to take my laptop with me. Um my work laptop. Like Copper Girl laptop basically, my Dell. Um so I need to get through my work today. Um and then I still need to do like last minute errands. So for example, I need to go buy a carry on. When I went the other day, like earlier, was it last week or earlier this week? I can't remember. I went to go get a luggage bag. I couldn't get one because they didn't have stock of the one that I wanted. So they said that they would restock it in the latter part of this week. So I need to go check if they actually have it or can you just opt for a different carry on. So I need to go buy carry on luggage. I bought my husband a pair of shorts from Country Roads but they don't fit they're small so i need to go exchange those for a bigger size i need to get him t-shirts like basic t-shirts um i need to get him a white shirt he's got a work event in the evening today um and then i've already done all of my shopping i did all my shopping like online on shein so like all my clothes i did i did shopping on shein fashion nova and amazon and all my stuff um arrived already i think i already unboxed the amazon and fashion over stuff the sheen stuff also arrived but i don't have the energy to do another try on haul um you guys will just see that stuff on the on the actual vlog so i need to go run those errands i was hoping to also go get waxes today but my wax lady or angel is unavailable but maybe i can ask christina to wax my underarms yeah maybe i'll do that i'll ask christina to wax my underarms yeah yeah, that's my agenda for today. Sign so wireless PTP. Please, will you print my contracts for me at the yeah, office? Send, send, yeah. Eh? Yeah, send. Baby, when you send that, I'm a contract man. Can I just ask that? Mm. Yeah, me and go and send that this contract. Let me get working, guys, so I can actually get through this work. Oh yes, my braids, my braids, my braids. Okay. So I think I showed you. Oh. Ow. <laughs> I think I showed you guys these braids yesterday. I forgot to vlog what I was actually doing my hair. I completely forgot to vlog. But I showed you guys these braids when I was done. And I absolutely love them. Absolutely love them. The hairdresser who did my braids is from Room Room Salon. So they basically like they do um house calls so i was able to like get my hair done while i worked yesterday which you know and and what i love about them that they don't even ask you to like <laughs> because I've, I've done house call braids before um since moving here with i forgot her name is it aisha that was her name and so the babe made me pass her if i and i was like girl the whole reason why i paid you an extra fee and i booked you ubers to come all the way from your house to here was so that i can work the whole reason why i'm paying an extra 600 rand than i would in the salon is so that i can work while you do my hair and then she got mad saying that, that i don't want to pass her the thing and i was like you know what let me just do what she wants Instead of her being angry at me and then messing up my hair, let me just oblige. So that I spent that day descending if I but instead of doing seven swam. Imagine that. But yeah, um I got room hair salon guess and they don't even make you pass if I they do their own fiber and then they just do your hair. I adore these braids. Adore them. Absolutely adore them. And Sana like the braids the bit is <laughs> zip braids are zip braids is a but I do feel like they're a bit much I feel like the curls are a bit much um all I'm sure I was saying that so so in the phone was water basically I want to like take out like pull out some of the curls because obviously the curls are fed into like the individual braids you see how like there's one braid and then it's got curls coming off of it I think each braid has like four curls and take out like two curls from each and every braid just to make them a little bit lighter and i want to trim them because i feel like they're way too long for my liking but when i'm so i saying but i must just 
wear them for my vacation and when i come back from vacation then i can like this old basically you know bring them down a little bit the volume and stuff but i'm not so sure if i have time today this is Uta, but if not i'll just go on my vacation like this and then this is Uta while i'm on vacation yeah <laughs> let's let's work man guys my sister and zenny my nail tech is gone i got a literally the exact same money i just did like an acrylic film how pretty how pretty these are my nails for the next week or two two weeks i'm continuing on with my work there's a contractor that just arrived and a foreman um because my husband and i are currently planning our renovations i think i've mentioned this to you guys before so they had to do measurements so that they can um quote us basically yeah um that's all they're here for hence i'm not vlogging that they just here to measure yeah let me work guys so it's six o'clock the work day has officially ended but yeah i haven't actually finished my work so yeah but the shops are gonna close in an hour and i have a lot to do so i just said you know what my investment dear son I'll finish the work when I come back. Yeah. I need to go get a memory card from Camera Land. I'm hoping it's still open. And then I wanna go to like Adidas, Dodal Sport, Sports Scene, those type of stores, and buy a rugby shirt for my husband. And then I need to buy stuff, you know, like a card and cupcakes because it's the hubby's birthday tomorrow i think i mentioned this earlier um like, let me look at my to-do list but i think i figure it all and then you know rugby t-shirt memory card stuff for my hubby's birthday and then i need to return hubby's shorts and shirt and then i need to get hubby plain t-shirts yeah, I think that's what I need to do. <laughs> let's go, let's go. Usually, I don't post. It's so hard Usually in Joburg. I don't post, oh. but I want the world to know. Who's washing? Time to pull a drop top. Summer nights, it's a vibe, yeah. We've been keeping it in the house. Netflix and chilling. I GDM it, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> basically it's from it's this one's trenary oh. these brown brownish ones <laughs> so i can't take i can't take both of them they're like a thousand rand each and i already bought a blue one the other day so i came to get a yes let me see again side by side Always says I always pick this other color, the brown one. You like these ones? Like, Captain, I better try to get the other one. Hold I on, let me show you the one I bought. Hold on. So, be 
Mamake Jonga, this is the one I bought at first. Oh. I really like this one. This is this is trenery, right? Yeah. I bought this yeah. one. And then I had also bought him this one, but this one was from Woolies. Oh. But the fit of this is not very good. Then get that one, because it's the same similar color tone. Get that one. Yeah. You think I should get this one? Yeah. As opposed to the brown one. Yeah. There's also black. No, get the khaki. Summer. Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking as well. Okay. Okay, thanks for your services. I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. I'm a good catch, but I never let them catch me. No, I never let them play me. Wild thing, try to tame me. But you got my mood. Hi, um, can I please have a quarter pounder with cheese, regular meal? With a Coke? Um, uh, can I have a Fanta? Yes, you can. Yes, that's all. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Do you want to be forever? Guys, can I tell you, I almost passed away in mall. I'm planting a shona guys, I'm planting a shona Aside from the fact that going to the mall is always such an exhausting thing Do you like a sign and do you like a camera land? I like a camera land They're taking a memory card and then I had a chat With one of the ladies that work there, such a nice chat With one of the ladies that work there after that, I went to go look for my husband's golf, um, rugby shirt and I wanted the one A golf, but I couldn't find it. I only found the one that's like a t shirt. Fine, gay. I went to Dodal Sport, they didn't have his size, and I got one Nike. I found one Nike. From there, where did I go from Nike? I went to Cardi's and I bought a card and a gift bag for my hubby. From Cardi's, I went to Woolies. And then I bought my husband t-shirts and slops and um, exchanged his chino shorts. And I got myself like a cover-up for the beach when I'm in Cape when I'm in Cape Town and in Zimbabwe for the trip, right? And then I went to go try on some sunglasses. And guys, like I found these Celine or Celine Celine sunglasses. Oh my goodness, they were so beautiful, like so so beautiful. But then they were like 7,800. I was like, yeah, this is not my lane. It's not my lane, but that's not my lane. But you know what? Maybe I can ask my husband to buy them for me for Christmas. Yeah, maybe I can ask my hubby to buy them for me for Christmas instead of a handbag. But yeah, I saw those glasses, Sana. I was like, oof, these are beautiful, but they're not my lane. That's the egg. Obviously. <laughs> and then I left my phone by the sunglass hat counter at Woolies. The Pumaga Woolies, I went to Poetry. I went to go find some more affordable sunglasses at Poetry and also see if I can find anything cute for my trip. Hold on, let me pay for my food. Hello. Hello. Okay. Hello. 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 Thank you. Thank you. So yeah, check it out. And I have a poetry center to go see if I can find more affordable glasses. And then as I'm and see if I can find a dress, like a nice cute dress. Oh, my chassis, let me see this pants, yeah, man. And then guys, while I'm in the change rooms, I realize that I don't have my cell phone. I don't have my cell phone. So now I started hyperventilating. I was like, oh my goodness. I started panicking, guys. I was panicking so much. I was like near tears. The lady at poetry like calmed me down. They're like, okay, let's phone it, let's phone it. And then by phone it, like, yeah, pendulum. 
and once again the ladies from sunglass hut answered and then they were like no they're gonna go leave it by security in the control room at woolies yo oh sana i i thought to myself jesus leaves utiko guys rose on the third day he rose on the third day because Yay, 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 yay. I had my phone for almost two years. I took it on contract, and then after about nine months, I settled the remainder of the contract. And then, yeah, I settled the remainder of the contract. And when I settled the contract, my insurance also closed. And I was like, no, 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 guys, I want to keep my insurance. I think I was, I was paying like 200 and something, close to 300 rand for, for insurance, like so-called insurance. I was like, no, I want to keep my insurance because Sana one thing you don't want is to lose a 30,000 rand cell phone that's what you don't want or for it to get stolen but then they were like no if you just continue the contract like if you settle the contract you close the insurance so i literally haven't had insurance on my phone on in like a year so if this phone and what would be the odds that i lose my phone the day before i go on vacation what would be the odds that i lose my phone the day before but luckily son and mind you when i realized that my phone was missing it was like three minutes to eight the shops in Santon city is there for like eight on a friday but luckily what woolies like woolies and like other stores they don't close their doors at 10 to 8 but it's eight so son i ran literally ran ran with my big nyash with my big nyash i ran all the way to woolies here I got my phone. Hello. Good thanks. How are you? Quite a pot with cheese, man. Yes. 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 Thank you so much. Can I have some extra tomato sauce? Thank you and everything you have. Thank you. Let's go to Erin. Guys, I feel like every time I need to travel, the, the day leading up to it or the week leading up to that travel, chaos. Chaos is manga. Is manga. Oh. today baby and it is my hubby's birthday so i quickly want to wrap his gift before we start packing is what i made the mistake of going to bed without packing and i knew i shouldn't have done it but to be honest i was just so tired i was so so tired <laughs> so tired it's like quarter past five in the morning now um it's the 7th of october so it's my baby's birthday so like i mentioned this is what i got yesterday i got him this golf shirt not golf shirt a uh, rugby shirt all right so this is the one part of his gift and then i'm whispering because he's still sleeping Last but not least, I got him this book from Christian Christian Book Discount. Or whatever it's called, the shop. I got him this book um, by Tim Keller. It's called Counterfeit Gods. Um, 
the empty promises of money, sex and power and the only hope that matters. So it's basically about, um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's about how we as human beings often use other things like our careers, our spouses, our sex lives and all sorts of things where to, um, to basically replace our need for God in our lives. And we basically make those things counterfeit gods and how those things promise us fulfillment and all sorts of things but um in comparison to who god is and what god is can be in our lives they often leave us very empty so those are my happiest three gifts i have a feeling this gift i've been bought why is it blurry now <laughs> i have a feeling this gift now that i bought is a bit too big Let's see. And then it's right on this card. So it says here, yeah, wishing you a birthday that stands out from the rest. For oh, there's no doubt about it, you really are the best. How cute is this, guys? Okay, you have any right here, okay, quickly. And then I got him these two cupcakes. We're gonna have these for breakfast because on your birthday you eat cupcakes for breakfast and I'm gonna make us coffee. I'm gonna make us coffee and then we're gonna get ready to go. <laughs> and go with my hubby up and sing happy birthday to him i'm gonna close this vlog off here guys and start a fresh run like i said today we are leaving our flight is actually in the next four hours so the next four hours we need to shower pack see date um yeah so thank you so much for watching guys if you enjoyed this video please go ahead and give it a huge thumbs up please don't forget to subscribe it really does mean a lot to me and it's completely free to you let me go guys thank you so much again for watching i love you all so much and i appreciate your presence here cheers guys <laughs>